What is the significance why we are celebrating Manihak Festival? Can you share your thoughts? Significance. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening, judges. <laughs> when, what is the significance why we are celebrating Malihao Festival? Can you share your thoughts? It's a celebration and honor to Nuestra Señora de las Victorias. It's to remember na kahit anong problema o kahit anong pagsubok, basta tayo nagsama-sama at nagbuklod-buklod at nagtutulungan, malalampasan po natin ito. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. And yes! <laughs> the question is, what are the attributes and qualities of a candidate in this Again, candidate number two, your question is, what are the attributes and qualities of a candidate who deserves to win? Good evening, Victoria Hannon. Good evening, judges. I think the person who deserves to win tonight is someone who knows how to speak with their heart. The art of communicating to everyone who surrounds him. Someone who can walk the talk. Someone who knows how to implement and to be an advocate. And most importantly, someone who has integrity. Doing the right thing, even if no one is watching. And I think with my experience, I am ready to have the responsibility of being a Gino Victorious tonight. Thank you. Alright, there we have it. Uh, this is your Ginong Victorias, 2018 first runner-up. This is my question. Uh, if you could break one rule, what would it be? Thank you for that wonderful question. If I could break one rule, that would be the rule of love. Is it because we are free? Because it is the gift of God for us to love everybody, to love, to love Him, um, to, to love Him above all. And also, I want to be free. Especially, um, love is not about gender. Love is not about age. And most especially in love is God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Only weeks away from the 2022 national and local elections. And in these digital times, there are a lot of misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation in our info sphere, especially on social media, targeting all candidates. As a Gino Victorious and City Ambassador, you're given an opportunity to advance your advocacies. Here's my question. If you win this title, how would you utilize this platform to empower the youth in battling fake news? All right, so once again, your question is, if you win this title, how would you utilize this platform to empower the youth in battling fake news? Good evening, everyone. If I win this title, I will I will use the advocacy. I will I will use this title to be a voice to the youth and conduct a webinar which tackles about MIL that gives the gives that gives the youth the information and the knowledge on how to fight fake news in in our society that would be all thank you thank you for number eight my question is what is one social issue that directly affects men and how would you address that issue your question is what is one social issue that directly affects men and how would you address that issue so good evening everyone one social issue that directly affects men is mental health or and depression according to research more men more men commit suicide because of emotional emotional damage because women women are more women are more outward their emotion that they 
they have someone to talk to. Men, are, we're lonely persons. We don't. We are not used to have someone to talk about our feelings. So we should care about men too, not just women. Thank you. Thank you so much. So your question is number three. What have you learned during this pandemic? Again, your question is, what have you learned during this pandemic? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I've learned during this pandemic, I believe for what we call Latin word, la raza, valiente. It simply means that lahing walang inoruman. I believe as an independent person, I work hard because as a breadwinner of my family, we need to uh, strengthen ourselves to become positive because yes, indeed, we cannot deny the fact that pandemic has already affected our lives, partially our business. Um, it loves the life of everybody. But the most important thing is in how you become a critical thinker. You analyze, understand before you make an action to solve this pandemic. And I've learned on how to become brave. Always remember this also in Latin word, that what you will do for today should always be the reflection and mirror of tomorrow. So what I'm doing right now, I take an action to fight for this pandemic. Thank you so much and good evening. My question is, do your grades reflect your potential? <laughs> your question is, do your grades reflect your potential? So, for me, we have our own giftedness and it's up to us on how we use it in order to achieve what we want. Hard work and passion matters and that would be all. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. Hard work really matters. All right. Let's proceed now to candidate number eight. All right, so good evening, candidate. Question is, what is the relevance of beauty pageants in this time of pandemic? So your question is, what is the relevance of beauty pageants in this time of pandemic? Good evening, everyone. More than just for us candidates to be, sh to be able to showcase who we are, what are we capable of, and our purpose, we also have one mission, and that is to be the role model, empowered men, and beacons of hope. Beauty pageants in this time of pandemic is very timely and relevant because we can raise our platform and encourage the youth to that even in dire circumstances, they should continue to pursue their dreams and passions in life. After all, we need to be resilient because when we learn how to be resilient, we learn to appreciate the beautiful broad spectrum of the human experience. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you very My question is, as a youth, what are the ways for you to help your fellow teenagers affected by the wars in their respective countries? Again, your question is, as a youth, what are the ways for you to help your fellow teenagers affected by the wars in their respective countries? So, thank you for that question. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. So since we, we live in different countries, I believe that the best thing that we can offer is our prayer. Because we know how miraculous prayer is and how strong and powerful prayer is. That we shall pray for the well-being of these individuals and for their respective countries. That may these nations may come at peace so that the war can be avoided, prevented, and can be solved. And I believe in the saying that we should always spread love and peace and not war. And that will be all. Thank you. Thank you. We were told to state a law that will curb juvenile crimes. What will it be? All right, sir. Question once again is, if you were to legislate a law that will curb juvenile crimes, what will it be? If I were to legislate a law that will curb a juvenile crime, that, cri that bill is all about a responsible parenting. We all know that 
at home, our parents are always always guide me and that is the most important thing to that law. <laughs> In that, in that bill, the parents should be guided and the parents should be guided because I do believe that a parent is, a fir, our, our, is, our, fir, is our first teacher. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Kamusta ka? Subo nga gabi. Okay, good guy. I am feeling very excited. Very excited. All right. You have picked number 13. Good evening, Victoria City. Nelson Sazanabu Jr. here. And this is my question. What have you learned during the time of pandemic that you can apply in your life? Ano ang imo nga natunaan sa panahon sa pandemya nga imo maaplikar sa imo kabuhi? Again, your question is, what have you learned during the time of pandemic that you can apply in your life? So, what I have learned in this time of pandemic is to be responsible. Second is, you have to be independent. Third is, you don't have to, to depend on others because at the end of the day, you and yourself alone is, your, is the one that you are going to depend on. Because each and every one of us has our unique talents, abilities, and skills in order to pursue, in order to persevere, in order to unite the world, and also to achieve our dreams and goals in life. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you? I feel aesthetically good. Uh, aesthetically good, partner. Very, very nervous. Slide. Slide, my partner. I know you can do it. Get it number 12 with that confidence. So good luck. God bless. Break a leg. So you have picked judge number four. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So my question for you is this, how would you protect your mental health against negative criticism? Again, how would you protect your mental health against negative criticism? Good evening everyone, good evening judges. I would love to speak in my native language which is Hiligaynon, for I am comfortable in answering this question. Repeat the question, please. Would you like it in Hiligaynon? Yes, please. Would you like it in Hiligaynon? Puede. Paano mo maprotektahan ang imo mental health against sa mga negative ng mga criticism kapwa mo sa ibang mga tao? Uno na sa tanan, para ako maprotekta ng akon niya kaugalingon, is mag-invest ko sa akon self. Kay last year, very very low ang akon niya self-confidence. Kay niwang-niwang sa akon, wala may yung focus sa studies, and wala may yung sa balay. But this year, ang akon niya New Year Resolution is mag-invest sa akon self. So next start ko working out, nag-focus sa akong self, be, by being a consistent honor. And also, I conquer my fear by joining this competition. Nga wala, may expect nga maintra ko. And I, thank you.